What's going on guys? Welcome to your 15th Java tutorial. Again with me Travis. What we're going to learn about in this tutorial is another basic math operator called the modulus. Now I wanted to separate this tutorial from the previous tutorial with uh, just the basic math functions here. Um, and what a modulus allows us to do is it gets the remainder uh, when we do division. So let's just delete some of these uh, other primitive data types that we set up in the previous tutorial. Stick with A and B, both end values, and let's change uh, this to like 11 and B to 2. So now when we do division, um, for example, if we have another int answer is equal to A divided by 2, or I'm sorry, A divided by B, and we print out answer, when we run this again, what we get is 5. Because again, int doesn't work with uh, decimal places, so 11 divided by 2 would be 5.5, .5, but just takes the first uh, whole number, so it'll just be 5. But let's say we just want to figure out what the remainder is. If you guys remember in you know elementary school, when you divided a number, you'd take 2 into 11, that'd be 5, with a remainder of 1. So what we essentially want to get with the modulus is the remainder only, so we're going to take out our division sign and we're going to put in the modulus. So now when we save this and run it, we get 1 because again our remainder is 1. You know, test this out. Let's say we want divide 11 by 3. So 3 goes into 11 three times with a remainder of 2. So we're going to save this and run it. And as you can see, we get just our remainder. We don't care about how many times 3 goes into 11. We just get the remainder. That's what the modulus allows us to do. Now, when I was learning programming, I was like, okay, that's cool. When am I ever going to use this? And if you guys have been watching the jo or the Android series, you saw how we use the modulus to cycle through um, our sprite sheet. For example, here, we want position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3, and then we just want to cycle through it so we get kind of an animation. And we did that with the modulus. So uh, to put this in practice, this kind of concept, we're going to just create a new int value. We're going to start this int value. Um, we're going to call this int i, and we're going to start this at 0. Now for this example, we have four different images in our row here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new int value called um, columns, something like that. And again, we had four columns, so we're just going to say four. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to say int answer. Or actually, I'm just going to cut this and paste it because I'm lazy and we're going to delete out some of this stuff and now what we can do is we can say our i value and divide it by 4 and get the remainder of that not 4 exactly I mean it's pretty much the same thing but we're going to just type out columns and now when we system print out we should get a remainder of 0 so we're just going to save this run it and we get 0 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these last two lines and we're just going to add 1 to our i value, so increment by 1 here, and then we're just going to paste it below. So now, uh, again, we're getting an error here because we already defined that answer is an int, so we're just going to delete this value here, and we're going to save our application and run it again. So as you can see, now we get the first system printout is 0. Next one is 1, but let's just keep going and see what happens. Let's just copy this line of code, those three lines, and paste it and paste it again one more time just for good measure and we're going to save it and run it as you can see we get this pattern of 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 um, and again it's just going to go 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, so we get that nice pattern because again we started i at 0 then we add 1 to i so you know the remainder is going to be 1 then the remainder is going to be 2 but see once we get down to this line i is equal now to 4 so when we divide 4 by the number of columns, which is also 4, we're going to get 1 remainder 0. So that's where this 0 comes in here. And then obviously if we keep, you know, pacing this, now i is equal to 5, we're going to divide that by, again by 4, we get a remainder of 1. So that's how we kind of cycle through and how we use the modulus. Obviously we want to copy and paste a million times to get this result. We do it in some kind of a loop. And just to do one more example, what we can do is just delete out some of this stuff here. And we're just going to delete out, you know, this i in columns data type. And we're going to set up an int value. We're going to call this int r for remainder. We're going to set remainder equal to be a 
modulus, again the percentage sign, uh, by 3. That's going to give us the remainder. Now for our answer what we can do is we can say A uh, divided by B and that's going to give us you know our end value. So now what we can do is we can say our system printout, let's do our value A plus quotations divided by plus um, B value plus is uh, well, space is equal to space quotation plus answer um, plus with a remainder of and then lastly just a plus and we're going to say R for a remainder value. Now what I'm going to do is just hit enter here so it's all on the screen for you guys. Um, but again this is basically just one line of code. So now it's going to print out our A value, our B value, and you know the answer plus our remainder. So let's just save this, run it, and we get 11 divided by 3 is equal to 3 with a remainder of 2. And as you can see we could probably put a space right there as well for our width. So that's again another way we can use the modulus. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.